Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for some more Torchlight 3 content. I know it's been a while since we covered this game, but there hasn't been a really big update until today with the new class, the Cursed Captain. Um, since some of you guys may have followed me and did not check out Torchlight 3, I'm also going to kind of make this a little, like, brief overview or review on Torchlight now, as the game definitely had a rough launch, and let's see if now, with the new class and some of the new updates, if the game is a lot smoother and uh, more enjoyable. So, um, let's go, uh, see the, both of the different genders. Uh, it doesn't really change anything for gameplay, it's just cosmetic over here. Ooh, that's kind of cool, I like that. I don't think you can change the look of the pirate here. So yeah, it's called the Curse Captain class. Uh, here are some of the skills. We'll just hop in, we'll just go right into some gameplay, uh, so we can kind of see what this new class is all about. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. And I, I like the Flaming Destroyer. However, um, I'm not sure what the weapon is going to be. Is it like, because uh, obviously it's it's like a, a like a gun weapon. So I'm not sure. If certain different relics will be kind of tied to a specific weapon archetype. If you want to make your class about the basic attack, you'll try to factor that in. But I just want to hop right into the gameplay, uh, and I like the flaming destroyer more than uh, the rest of him. So we'll go ahead and select the little alpaca. We'll just hop right in. But yeah, I'm really curious to see uh, if the game is uh, a lot better now, as it definitely had a rough launch for sure. Um, we had lots of times where like things would have infinite load screens, quests and stuff were not able to be completed at the end game in the Fazir's dungeons. Like it would require you to kill X amount of things and it was just very difficult to complete because the monsters just didn't exist or there'd be monsters that wouldn't spawn in. And it was just not what I would consider the smoothest experience. But this might be the last big update for Torchlight 3. Um, in fact, it's going to be the last update from Etra as uh, Zynga purchased it. Um, so let me go to actually swap this. I want basic attack on it. Okay, here we go. So... Looks like we have doubloons that are like mana. Each class in Torchlight 3 um, has its own different... Uh, it looks like I was just getting stuck on like nothing. That's weird. Um, which was like a, an issue that the game kind of had to. Like in terms of like how smooth the game was. So I'll kind of give you guys a little like review too while we're playing it. But as far as like the responsiveness because of like the servers lagging... I would say it's um, it's a little bit better for sure, but like still like when you're moving, sometimes it just feels clunky. Like the character just doesn't want to move, or you get stuck on like terrain. Well, it looks like the server kind of pushed us with like it felt like latency right there. But you know, I felt like this game had some potential. Um, I think it was released out of early access way too early, and when you kill enemies, like it takes a long time for things to drop. And I, I really think that that should have been addressed. Um, so go ahead and equip the new weapon. But yeah, we'll open up the skill tree. We're still um, in the process of getting to the next level. And then we have the legendaries. There's a lot of cool content with this game for sure. Um, because I remember when I did my like initial impressions when the game launched. Because I had already completed this game. I spent hundreds of hours in... Uh, the game when we had like early access and the different forms of the like PTR I participated in uh, like those and there's I want to say there's supposed to be like another act and I don't think we're gonna be getting that I mean it's possible in the future via the the different ownership, but Right now in terms of like concurrent players for this game it never on Steam hit over 4,000 uh, concurrent players so is might be the last like update because, you know, if the game's going to get support, you know, it needs to be able to generate revenue somehow. And there is kind of a battle pass in this game, but I don't think you can purchase tiers. It's just like, it's just there. It's just... Because it originally was going to be a free-to-play game, and that got changed. And it looks like we're still having quest markers and items pop in and out on the minimap. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Maybe if I open it up. Oh, no, it actually changes the map. Okay, so, like, there'll be certain things where you can harvest. And these are still popping in and out on the top right of the minimap, which is an issue that the game had with its questing features that still looks like it's existing now. And you can still venture off the map. Like, you see how, like, you know, we're off the map. And in some of the quests in the game, 
you actually went off the map to progress, and that was like a big issue. I, I don't actually know. Wait, what? How are we supposed to progress to the next area? Uh, like I just, I, I just started this playthrough. We're already five minutes in, and are we unable to get to there? There are some areas that were, you just straight up couldn't get to. There would be chests in areas that like you couldn't get to, and it was so interesting that like that has not been changed. Um, also, quest markers. I, I saw it right there. Um, you might have to go back if you didn't see it, but basically, you would have these quest markers and. It was basically where you can farm the, um, uh, are we, we're level three now? Okay, so we have some skill points. Uh, it would tell you, like, go over here, right? Because you see the quest marker, you'd walk over there and they would just be gone. And it's just like, why? But anyways, we have some new skill points, so let's go ahead and try them out. So we have black spot, so curses an enemy, marks them in case they take more damage. Nothing too new with this. Uh, Mail storm and conjure storm, this forms whirlwind, pulls enemies, and it deals 90% weapon damage. And normally what you'd want to do is you want to put multiple skill points into a skill, and once you reach the threshold, you'll get some type of bonus, like, um, it'll, it'll do different things. We're just gonna hop right in and try to give you guys, uh, an impressions of the class, also, um, but in terms of the, it, like, if you were thinking about playing this game, like now, um, and you haven't purchased it, is it, does it still have bugs and what I would consider problems? 100%. 100%. Um, now, does that mean that you can't have fun playing the game? Heck, you could still have fun playing this game. I completed it, and honestly, I love action RPGs. And I would still say Torchlight 2 is superior to this game in terms of, like, the, the way it feels when you're moving, it's just so awkward. You still can't, can you not bound left, you can't bind left click to move. Like, these are basic things, loop filters, uh, you know, mod support, these are things that I think would really help out the game. And for an act, wait, look at the, look, look at the, look at the quest. There was a, there was a question mark over here and then just disappeared. <laughs> and that's like part of the quest because we have to um, click on these swords and the quest markers are disappearing. Yeah, um, like this one's here. And it's, I don't know, it just like, it would pop in and out. And I'm, I'm just not a fan of um, games releasing out of early access when there's clearly things when it's like the quest markers you know did, did you guys see that like there's there's an exclamation mark and it just like it's popping in and out and i still have to hit one so let's throw in the uh, the storm so there's no visual animation of it going in the storm i've noticed like if i throw down the storm when the enemy gets close it just teleports them in versus like visually showing them going in so, I mean, th the game's a little bit rough, but like I said, it doesn't mean that you still can't have fun playing the game, but could I recommend it? I would say pick up Torchlight 2 still with uh, some of the mod support, specifically the Synergies mod. Uh, I, th I could say that you'll you'll have a much better experience in terms of how smooth the game is and the, the polishedness of the game. It's still rough in this game so far. Uh, we're gonna get a Legendarium. Like, in the legendaries with this game, you get a bunch in the very beginning, but then, yeah. So, if, if I remember correct, you do get quite a bit of legendaries early on, and then it starts drying up. We can also release the pet, but I'm pretty sure I have most of the pets already in the game. So, it looks like this is, uh, like, some type of clone that we summon. Uh, Spectral Cannon, okay. Let's see if we have any different upgrades here. And we got a new legendary chest. So, plus one to curse skills, and then plus another level two curse skills once we have, uh, was it, three or more in the set. So, this is, like, the uh, set. So, it looks like uh, our doubloons are our mana resource. We're probably going to get some items that grant, like, doubloons on hit or something, or, like, chance for doubloons. Okay, and you could still what's cool. What is really cool with Torchlight Three? Like, I, I don't, I don't mean to be too critical on the game, but I know some people may have followed me for, let's say, Path of Exile or other games, and like, what is this game? They're looking to check it out with this big update, and they want my might want to purchase the game, and I kind of want to, you know, give them the right information. Um, I, I've done uh, reviews on this game. I still think, even right now, the game is in early access, but I don't think it's going to be able to um, you have a new quest. get extra support and make it be a game that will have a long life cycle where we get seasonal updates and you know big changes um, we actually got to go back to town right here so we'll go ahead and go back to the travail point 
and we'll see like kind of you know how things have changed and i would say overall things really haven't changed too much there's still lots of um things that definitely need to be patched out. like i said in terms of the map you shouldn't have to walk off of the map um but now if if you already own torchlight 3 now is probably the time to play because you know there's a player base right um as the game generally is like under 100 players um so now we got to go to the Edgewood Bluff, and then we got to go to. Um, you know, we just got to continue going, and we'll go do that. And in terms of the um, skills, we actually have another skill point. We'll go put it into Black Spot, which is like going to be like marking the enemy, and then just take more damage. And then we also probably have uh, the Legendarium. So what this is is kind of cool. It's kind of like the Kanai's Cube if you played Diablo 3. You get to basically select a legendary power here. And um, the one that I'm going to put in, and th this works across your entire account. And so like, that's why I have a bunch. You, you at the start will not have this many, but I'm just gonna pick the one that gives us increased attack speed. And that will um, actually just make the game feel a little bit better. Um, one thing that I heavily, felt like this game needed was like certain you know affixes prefixes suffixes or implicits on an item to have movement speed in boots is such a basic feature uh in a game and i for an action rpg um and i think that 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 really needed to exist in the game and it just it just wasn't there i don't know if they've added it now let me see well if i add this it I'm guessing it changes the basic skill yeah okay okay uh, I'm gonna keep using the cannon because it is like the, you know, the point of me playing is to show off the new class. And you can send your pet to town so it can go sell stuff, which is kind of cool. And so we'll get to the next area. I guess I could have just used the, the, the portal over here. Uh, looks like we get like a, a waypoint or something over here. There we go. And we're gonna go to the Den of Upheaval. And keep on progressing, keep on getting some new skills. And like, honestly, I, I do want to say that for me, I really am a huge fan of action RPG. So I like trying out new games and seeing different systems. Um, in terms of what this one brings to the table, I think their old system, when it was in like early access, when you could swap your, um, your, uh, what is it? They're called the artifacts, which uh, we'll, we'll level up and uh, we'll get. Uh, within the next couple levels you used to be able to swap them and level them all up individually but then they made it a permanent decision to make it so you can't swap them so it looks like our, our weapon is kind of what kind of reminds me of a shotgun it's like a cannon oh you have to left click on it okay uh, so long barrel is our rifle. Okay. I want, we basically need to focus on cannons because that's going to change your basic attack. But, ooh, this one does have 11. All right. Well, this one does more damage. And I still think it fits the pirate theme, so we'll be right. And what's cool, one thing I do want to give uh, credit for uh, Torchlight 3 is that you're able to use whatever... Um, go ahead and mark him. Um, so he'll take more damage. You're able to use any skill with any weapon. So like I can have a sword and still use like some of these skills that would like use a bow, right? And I think that that's pretty cool. Um, now does it make sense? Not really, but I, I, I don't mind. For me, what matters the most is it build diversity, creativity, and like newer things to the action RPG genre. And their end game system is pretty much what we've seen in action RPGs before, which is just like a, a random map, and then you can add modifiers to make it a little bit difficult in return, maybe get some better loot, like, let's see if we get another, like, legendary, because like I said, you, you, get, you get them so often, oh, this is, I want to say this is a newer pet, like, basically the pet is just a skin, but you, um, we'll go, we'll go run, We'll run this guy, because he's a new pet, so, like, your pet has some skills, but you unlock them as you level up and they also kind of have their own inventory here so um right now we have an active skill that makes it so it grants increased chance to block but i would rather have like there's the uh, aura that grants us 15 percent crit that one's really good or there's one like this one uh this one's good too uh 25 defense 
And we got fire starter over here, so that'll be a nice little buff. In fact, let me go back. When we go back to my, like... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, cancel. We don't want to leave. So, some of the quests, you can actually, like, kind of mess up, and you'll have to actually go back. So, we have to collect these mushrooms. So, we'll go collect all the three mushrooms. They're all right there, so it's really easy. We've got a new legendary. It's a legendary sword, so... When we cast Sword Smash, we gain a Fire Charge. When we use Basic Attacks, we will spend a Fire Charge to hurl Fireballs at the enemy. So this is going to be something with our... Um, do you have a skill point? Uh, we'll get one relatively soon because we're about to hit level 4. And I'll show you guys what the leg Legendary does for that. And now it's probably going to want us to go back into town. Actually, let's keep that Shrine up. We'll go to um, Travel Point. Complete the, uh, the quest, talk to the person, get a reward and then we will progress into the next area. So once it's go to Travail Point, we're here. Talk Good to the job person. With the mushrooms, recruit. Okay. What's that? And we'll probably have to talk to someone else. Hey, adventurer. I overheard you in the I'm just gonna select the boots <laughs> in hopes that they added movement speed as a modifier. Okay. Oh, we got two items on that chest, okay. New chest piece. Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to place, replace the legendary now. Uh, that will definitely be a nice little upgrade. And then I'm going to keep the cannon just in case we want to do something with it. And then we'll put the shield. And we have a pet's inventory. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to go send the... Oh, you can't actually send the pet to town while you're in town, which... I wish you could just do it. The reason why I like doing this this way versus selling everything individually is just much faster. But we can go to, um, wait, can we just go to Travail? Here, I want to see if we can get to our own, we can go to our own fort. Okay, so we can go to our own fort at any time, which will be part of, like, when we progress into the next area, we'll be able to, like, see our fort. And I want to say it's, like, account-based, so we should still have, like, very high magic find. And on top of that, like I mentioned before, in the very beginning, you get a bunch of legendaries, and then it starts drying up as you progress, which it should be the other way around. I feel like as you progress, you know, you're doing more difficult stuff, you should be getting more legendaries. But if I go here in my fort, and if I just send my pet to town, and it takes them only nine seconds as opposed to what it used to be before. All right. So, uh, why are these all? These are all grayed out because it requires way too high of a level. I don't know if I saved any lower level gear, because you can see I have a bunch of legendaries, but um, I might not be able to access them. Uh, now, or they might be on another character, and some of them are for like a very specific class, but they will still be able to be a huge number change in terms of like um, uh, our change. So now we'll go to the fields of unrest and we will continue and check out some of the new skills. And once we get one more level, we'll be able to use the. Um, Legendary ability because we'll have to like proc it off of the uh, little bar that we don't have yet because we haven't uh, invested into the uh, The artifact And I liked it before when you had to like build the artifact I don't know like this game actually went through a lot of different phases. It used to be originally it was designed as a free-to-play game uh, Called torchlight frontiers and then it got changed as a buy to play game Hello? <laughs> you guys see what I mean by like, there's just like, the responsiveness and stuff is just, it's not there uh, with this game and it's been a problem for a really long time and it just, I just, it's just too hard for them to fix. Um, Which is unfortunate because I, I think there there is still some potential with this game, but I would say if this game was free to play and maybe they had some cosmetics um, at the start, because right at this point right now I think it's too difficult. I, I still want to say that Torchlight one and two or Torchlight two I could recommend if you get some mods, Far Eastern mod, Synergies mods. Those are those are cool, but I think that Torchlight three unfortunately doesn't really live up to it with the new class though like is a new class fun i would say yeah the new class is pretty cool so far um i mean the whole gaining doubloons thing is is not as interesting because you're just getting it like when you seem to hit enemies so it's like like the i forgot what it was called but the guy that like builds up steam in this game 
um, is it the forge. Like, it was cool, you would build up heat, and then you would expend it for a resource. But if you think about it this way, I'm also basically killing stuff, and I'm building up my resource, right? But, like, it was kind of cool, because he was, um, you know, a machine. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Like, they really did definitely try, though, uh, to make each class feel unique. Right, let's go and kill this. Let's go over here, apply the little dot. And you can see that there's like, visually there's a little like skull above him, so when he dies, it's gonna pop. So like, I mean, these are... You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of the Necromancer skill in Diablo 3, the uh... Is it the Inarius set? Where you have that little swirling bones? It's like, the exact same color too. Um, and the, the whole Legendarium is like, kind of like the Kanai's Cube. And, like, these are cool features, don't get me wrong, I like them, but I feel like that it didn't really push the action RPG genre. Oh, you know what? We should actually further. Um, like, if you were to ask me, what does this game bring to the table? I mean, you do have this little, like, fort, but it's just like a hideout in PoE. It doesn't affect actual gameplay, really. So, um, what do we have to hit? Uh, level five, we're, are we, we're level four right now, and my face is blocking the, our little like level. But let's go ahead and get this so we can see the um, uh, ability of Sword Smash. We gain a fire charge when we cast it. So we'll go build that up. And you can see now we have this little like relic. Oh, that's, that's what it's called. Not artifact, relic is what it was called. Oh, that's cool. And then when we fire a basic attack, it shoots out fireball. Okay. We have like another form of resource like this was what I the artifact kind of would be considered unique But a lot of them feel very samey Like I like this bone swirl more than the little like clone because the bone swirl is like it, it sucks up the enemies You know, it's a little bit hard to uh, compete with something that's aoe does damage over time and also pulls in enemies It just it, the responsiveness in this game is just it's not there. Ooh, he's hitting hard, and he's also teleporting. It, maybe the servers are. It's the game is still overall just a laggy experience. What the heck? I mean, you guys are seeing this, right? Like. And it, and it makes me so sad because this is one of the OG guys in the Diablo franchise. And I just feel like this game could have been so much better. And like with the non-responsiveness and like the delay and like the gold look with the way it drops, all these little small things, to me at least, they add up over time. Um, and then we're just going to go to the Chasm over here, but... Uh, let's see, we, we'll, maybe we'll get level 5 over here and at least try out one of the, the other new skills. And I believe you can respec in this game. So the next thing we can get is Thieving Spirits, so we can cast forward a cluster of conjured spirits to the form of bandits and thieves, which deals damage and you gain a doubloon charge. Okay, and then the other thing over here we have Double Cross, Slice and Dice your foes with Twin Saviors, dealing 100% damage. And the next 5 basic attacks... Uh, which hit an enemy, trigger treachery. Each stack of treachery increases the damage of your next double cross by 100%. And then if five stacks of treachery are spent when using double cross, send an X-shaped shockwave. Okay, that's kind of cool. Then we have Wraith Walk, which is our movement skills. It shifts into an incorporal form, moving swiftly through enemies and arriving at destination, fearing enemies around you for one second. Okay, that's kind of cool. But like, I mean, even with the new class change, like it's cool that we're still getting a new class. That's That's a pretty big update, you know, for any game. Especially since you have to make all the skills, all the legendaries for that class. But I really feel like the game's core gameplay is still rough. Like, as in the, the game still feels like it's in a, an alpha or beta in terms of, like, responsiveness. So, if you guys haven't played this game and, you know... You're not okay, because like I'm okay with playing a game in early access. It doesn't bother me, but you gotta let people know what, what, what the game is like in in terms of its state. And I'd say it's still early access. But 
Could I recommend this game to a friend if you like the previous Torchlight games? I still think Torchlight with mods is way better. Torchlight 2 with mods is just superior. But if you're really looking for something new and you, you're finished with PoE, you're finished with Dia like all the Diablo games, we still have Diablo Resurrected. If this was a free-to-play game, you know, I'd, I'd say you know, download and give it a shot. But you gotta pay for it. Kind of low on HP. Only got one potion. Watch out for those like lightning things that are coming down. I mean, there are things that you gotta dodge, but in terms of it adding anything new to the action RPG genre, yeah. Cause like I, I've I've made if you guys do want like a build guide, um, wait we're almost level we're still kind of far away from five but um, if you guys do want a build guide I have a really good sharpshooter build guide if you're like just starting off with this game I I like that class a lot uh, I also made a a dusk mage build guide like I, I've maxed out multiple multiple classes in this game uh, obviously this class just came out today so I haven't maxed it out so I couldn't tell you if this class is OP but it's like good for sure. Um, like at least right now, like, I don't feel like it's super weak, but it's just like the responsiveness in this game just, it, it's frustrating. It just feels awkward to play. Uh, let me actually, can I just go back into, um, go back and kind of we kill this guy. I just need to grab some potions. We're out. And uh, most of the classes don't get like a really good like self heal as a skill. Dust Mage actually is really good because you can actually get the, the the your your movement skill can basically heal you and you're pretty much good to go. So we'll have to buy some potions and uh, also give me a chance to uh, oh, yes. see if there's any upgrades. Okay. <laughs> I've got those. Our right, move status effect. Oh well, it doesn't. A clear shock effect. Okay, so some of them will recover different amounts. Okay, what's this? Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a scroll. A random fort decoration. Okay. A resource bundle. It's just just like crafting material. Like there is some sort of upgrade that you can do in the game, but I would say overall it's very minimal when you compare it to like crafting and if you've played Path of Exile or Last Epoch. It's more along the lines of Diablo 3 mo modifying something that has like an empty like slot for it. It's um, not very complex, which for some people that's a welcome because you know it's not going to be super super hard. Oh, wait, this is... Okay, we're good? I think, I think we're good. We have to uh, defeat the spiders in here. Why do I feel like this is a completely different area, though? Is this... Okay. Because I remember there was another bug in this game. This is like a pretty insane bug. You could walk into a portal and, and, and end up somewhere completely different. Like, literally, randomly, anywhere in the entire game like is one of the most wild bugs I've seen but it's kind of funny I don't know like it's I wanted to, to, to hit level 5 for this little gameplay session but it might be it might be a little bit too long but you know if you own torchlight Sure, I think that, you know, hopping back on, playing for a little bit, yeah, it's... I mean, am I enjoying myself? Like, like, I, I can't move. I actually can't move. Oh, uh, what causes that? I, I don't know, but, like, that's frustrating as a, a player. Um, I, I'm trying to see, see, like, what's causing it. Is it, like, this, like, certain terrain? So I think what it is, is like, I'm trying to click over here and... But sometimes, like, even right here, I, I still can't move. I'm trying, I'm trying to, and it's just like, no. No, I still can't move, I still can't move, I still can't move. 
and if I go up, it, it works. So th there's definitely some clear issues with this game. Um, and so I'm, I'm glad I'm able to show you guys these things because, you know, I've only played for half an hour. You know, could you imagine? And I, I've played this game for hundreds of hours. Uh, like, if you count like the uh, the PTR and testing and stuff like that. But I, I kind of want to wrap up my thoughts right now. Um, I mean, the new class, it, it, I, I, will I play a little bit more of this game? Probably, to be honest. <laughs> I love action RPGs. And I, I really feel like that there was something cool with this game. And like, I'm, I may make a build guide. So if you do want to see it, you're new here. You can subscribe, turn on that bell, and I'll, and I'll definitely give you guys, uh, you know, my thoughts on this class after we max it out. But in my first initial impressions on this game, has it been fixed? Absolutely not. 100% no. But is there still something there that could be fun for some of you guys? Sure. Even if this is your first action RPG, I'd still recommend for your first action RPG. Diablo 2 Resurrected is coming out very soon. I would, because this game costs money, I would recommend you guys to hold off and wait on that, or you can pick up Diablo 3 as a first action RPG. But if you've been playing action RPGs for a long time and you just want something new, this game, for some people, if you're okay considering the game that you have to pay for it, and it's basically in what I would consider an alpha or a beta, an early access then you can you can have some fun with it but like i'm okay with games that you know need need work but it's frustrating and the most frustrating thing is when you can like you get to the end game you're doing these maps and they'll say kill like 30 or 40 of these guys and there's not 30 or 40 of these guys that exist on the map and like you have to like look for them and sometimes they'll just spawn out of nowhere and like sometimes they just the, the, them spawning out of nowhere does not happen and you cannot complete the quest and you have to literally uh forfeit the dungeon and it's it's frustrating so those are my thoughts on Torchlight 3's new big update, um, but you guys can let me know yours down below. And this might be the last time I will upload uh, anything on this game. Uh, I might, I might stream it, uh, you know, from time to time. Uh, just, just until I max out with this character, and then I might just be done forever with this game. But hopefully, Torchlight will get a sequel. And I do wish the uh, developers the best because I still think that there's something cool with this game, and I hope that they can fix it in the future. But right now. It's just not there, but that's my thoughts. Anyways, take it easy, guys. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. If you want to see more action RPG stuff, because that's what I really plan to cover on this channel, more so not really going to be uploading too much of this other than maybe one endgame build for the, the new Cursed Pirate class. But that's going to be it. But if you do want to see new action RPG stuff, subscribe, turn that bell, and you'll see more soon. But take care. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.